Hi, My Memory Suite version 7 has just released, and I am here to show you a couple things that I've discovered so far that I really enjoy. So first off, I'm going to show you that now you can add more than one of the same embellishment at a time. They don't have this listed that I could see, but as far as I know, it's a new feature. So all you do is you go into the embellishment tab and you press add you choose the embellishment you want. And before, when I wanted to add three of this flower, I would choose the flower, press add, close it, and it would add it to the page. I'd open my embellishments again, choose the flower, press add, close it, and it would add it to the page. So it took a while. Now all I do is I choose the flower. Right here you can see that there's quantity. You press the up or down arrow to say how many you want. I'm going to choose three. I press add, I close it, and all three of those flowers are now on my page. So this will save time, especially if you use more than one of the same embellishment on a page. The next thing that I am going to show you is that some of you have probably noticed that you can now add photos to PNG shapes. I love this feature. I'm going to show you how it works. This template that you see on the screen is a set that I've just created. I've taken different shapes and arranged them on a page and made a template out of it. They should release later this week or maybe even as early as Sunday, I'm hoping. But they are coming soon. And the way they're set up is that all you need to do is click on the photo block that you want to add a photo to. So you left, by pressing your left mouse, you click on it. You go over into the embellishment tab and you can see that there's now an option for photo. You press it and your photos come up or you will go find them on your computer. I just happen to have mine ready. You click on the photo that you want, press OK, and it adds it to your shape. Click the next shape, press photo, press OK. And the next shape, photo, let's see, we'll go with this one down there. Next shape, photo, and the last one. So now you can have all kinds of really neat looking layouts in ways that you couldn't have them before. This also means that you can now start using masks on your page. I know that's exciting for a lot of you. And uh, I hope you have fun. Go and explore and have fun. And I will be back with more videos as I discover more things.